Why play Rek'Sai top? Well, she is a strong laner. She is amazing at split pushing, she is great at diving towers, and she has amazing sustain with inbuilt healing and no mana. However, she is immobile without her tunnels, and she can struggle getting kited if unable to get the first attack in. Rek'Sai's passive is her basic attacks and abilities generate fury. When she becomes burrowed, she consumes all of her fury to heal herself. Rek'Sai's abilities have different effects whether she's burrowed or unburrowed. While unburrowed, her Q is an auto attack reset which grants her a large amount of bonus attack speed. In addition, it makes her next three attacks still bonus damage and deal damage in a circle. While burrowed, her Q is a straight line skill shot which deals damage to enemies hit and reveals them. While unburrowed, her W causes her to burrow. While burrowed, she gains bonus movement speed, however her vision is greatly reduced. She instead sees circles on the floor where enemies are walking. While burrowed, using W or attacking causes her to unburrow. This causes her to explode out of the floor, dealing damage to all nearby enemies and knocking them up. While unburrowed, her E is a point and click ability which deals damage. And when she has maximum fury, this deals even more damage. While burrowed, it causes her to dash in a direction, leaving behind a tunnel at both ends. These last for 10 minutes and can be reused again to travel around the map faster. However, she can only have 8 out at a time, and enemy champions can stand on these to destroy them. Rek'Sai's ultimate has a passive, where when she deals damage to an enemy champion, she marks them as prey for 5 seconds. The active can only be used against a target marked as prey, where it causes her to go untargetable and go beneath them. And after a short delay, she will then pounce through them, dealing damage. For combos, engage while burrowed with Q into E and an attack knock up your opponent. Immediately reset with your Q into your 3 attacks using your E into your ultimate. For matchups, Rek'Sai is great into champions who rely on dashes where she can instantly interrupt them if attack moving while tunneled, and she can struggle against hard lane bullies who you can't just keep engaging on. For runes take this, grasp is everything you want. For build order start a shield and pot into a sunfire cape and tier 2 boots. After this a spirit's visage into a thorn mail are great pickups before finishing a build with any of these as needed. Of course if you're against more magic damage prioritize magic resist and if you're against more attack damage, prioritize armor. For skill order, start W then Q then E before maxing Q then E then W taking ult whenever you can. For summoner spells, take flash and teleport. As a top laner, your main focuses are going to be on farming hard and taking good trades. With Rek'Sai, once you hit level 3, you gain access to your full combo and some of the best trades in the game. Before going in, however, it's always helpful to have a tunnel nearby for an easy retreat. But between your knock-up, tons of damage, and your healing after the fight, your trade patterns are insane. Entering the mid-game, you want to take your tower as soon as possible possible and keep up a ton of pressure through split pushing. Make sure you set up your tunnel network beforehand to keep yourself safe. From here, keep pushing out the lane hard, and if one person comes to stop you, fight them. And if multiple come, simply retreat back through your tunnel network, where you can back and get pressure elsewhere, or simply group with your team. Entering late game team fights, you want to play as your team's frontline who can dive their backline. Either jump onto their backline, knock up an important target and blow them up with your ult, or if something goes for your backline, simply knock them up and keep throwing out your tons of AoE damage. 